Welcome back to my uh, vegan cooking channel and happy Easter everyone. Uh, today we're going to make uh, one of the Polish uh, traditional um, cakes which can be found on a table uh, during uh, uh, holidays, uh, especially uh, Christmas and Easter. And I'm talking about Makowiec, or in English, puppy seed uh, cake. So first I will make a uh, dough, all right? And I will uh, tell you about ingredients as we go. All right, let's get started. I need to put in a bowl um, two and a half cups of flour. I will combine flour with uh, yeast and I'm using uh, a dry yeast. Okay, so um, according to recipe, I supposed to use uh, approximately three envelopes of uh, dry yeast. Okay. I will also uh, add a little bit uh, egg substitute or just egg. So this is my uh, substitute for eggs, okay? So it's going to be, I'm going to put one half, okay? Should be plenty. <laughs> All right. But if you don't have it, you can use uh, aquafaba and I also feel, uh, I always feel safe and I put a little bit of uh, apple uh, cider vinegar when I am uh, making um, my um, uh, cakes because in my opinion that is going to be more elastic, okay? So I put about uh, two tablespoons, okay? Now it's time to add uh, one half cup of powdered sugar okay. and one half cup of uh, warm almond milk, okay? But you can use any plant-based milk, okay? Of your choice. All right. Okay, so I, I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to uh, combine my mixture and I will work on creating uh, my dough, okay? I'm going to use a spoon to, to combine all my ingredients. I'm working with my hands, okay? And uh, creating my dough, okay? Should not be too, too loose or too hard, and rather should be elastic, okay? I'm thinking that I will add a little bit of, of flour. So I added uh, another uh, half of a cup of uh, flour. Okay, again, we don't want any heart or loose dough. That should be elastic. Okay. Okay. 
dough is forming really well here okay but i'm going to uh, transfer my dough onto a counter okay and work more on, more on that it's um uh, i will use a little bit of more flour okay because uh, we really don't want uh, a sticky dough, okay? Okay, and at this point I'm going to add I'm going to incorporate that very slowly, okay? In mini steps, okay? Okay. making holes in that okay and pour in and hold okay and work more with it okay okay and um Plus butter. Let's go in. And I'm going to add a little bit more of flour. Okay, because my dough is a little bit sticky here, okay? We don't want it too greasy. We need to use uh, more flour, okay? Or uh, we can also use less of butter, maybe one per cup. Um, this is according to the recipe, okay? But um, it is okay. We're learning here. Let's see. The dough is uh, becoming very elastic. It looks great. Okay. Looking really good. And sometimes we just have to uh, play a little bit to see if we need more um, more ingredients. Like in this case, we needed uh, more flour, okay? And uh, even if I follow recipe, sometimes it doesn't happen the way the recipe, you know, wants us to happen. Okay. Now, I will put it in a bowl and let it rise in a warm place. And uh, when my dog increases double the size, then it'll be ready to uh, start making my COVID, okay? Which I'm going to tell you more, okay? Uh, in a few minutes, okay? On how we're going to do it, okay? All right. 
So I'm, I'm going to cover uh, uh, my uh, dough with a paper towel and put it aside to erase. Okay, now uh, I'm going to work on uh, creating uh, my filling for uh, Makovitz or poppy seed uh, cake. Okay, so um, for my filling, you obviously, you, you definitely need, need to have a um, poppy seed, okay? So I, I get those two at, at my local store and this is the uh, dry poppy seed but some stores uh, have already prepared uh, uh, poppy seed, you know, um, and you just have to add a little bit of uh, other ingredients. Uh, but this one, um, which I already have done it, this one needs to be rinsed, and then uh, you need to uh, simmer that twice in the water, and, and then you have to uh, uh, drain all the water from, from the uh, poppy seed. And um, after you uh, drain the or discard water, you need to grind your uh, poppy seeds and um, use a coffee grinder that worked pretty well. And I, I didn't put everything all of it right away because <laughs> it was not uh, large enough. But I think I put it in there like three times maybe. I obtained like um, uh, two cups, almost two cups of uh, the poppy seeds, which I started with one cup of dry, okay? Dry seed. So now I'm going to prepare a filling for uh, my um, dough, okay? And, uh, okay, I'm going to show you first, maybe. Um, this is, this is two cups of um, already ready poppy seeds, okay? Um, it, it is not dry, it's, right now it's moist. Okay, and I will uh, incorp incorporate um, other ingredients into my uh, poppy seeds, okay? Looks like that, and now we have, as I said before, we have about two cups of poppy seeds, okay? Um, and, I, and I started with one dry cup uh, first. I will have to um, put about one uh, tablespoon of um, vegan butter in in my pot. Okay, I'm using uh, Smart Balance, but you can use any kind of plant-based butter you want. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to let it melt and then add puppy seed in, in my pot. Okay. Butter is all melted, so in this one I'm going to add um, poppy seed, okay? And I'm going to fry it a little bit uh, in the butter, okay? I'm going to let it fry a little bit. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup instead of um, honey. So I will use two tablespoons, okay, of uh, maple syrup and three teaspoons of sugar. As I'm using raw cane sugar. Okay. It smells amazing already. Alright. It's looking like this. 
so far. Now, turning the uh, heat off, uh, putting it aside, and soon I'm going to add more ingredients um, with it, about which I'm going to tell you, okay, as we go. Okay, so I soak about uh, two tablespoons of raisins, soak them in the water, and I also added into it uh, orange zest. I just uh, cut them into very tiny pieces, okay? And uh, I'm going to discard the water right now and add it in my mixture. That's going to definitely raise the flavor of my um, filling. Okay. All right, and a little bit of an anise uh, extract, okay? About one fourth teaspoon, okay? And I'm going to give it stir now, okay? I'm going to transfer uh, it into a larger, um, into a bowl. Uh, just to, um, it's going to allow me to work better on that, okay? I'm, I'm mixing this very well, okay? And it's a good idea to taste it, okay? I think it's perfect. It doesn't need any extra sugar. Okay, I will let it cool a little bit, okay? And I will see you um, after my dough in increases double in its size. All right, see you soon. Welcome back. I'm going to show you my dough right now. It, it increased uh, beautifully in size, okay? Okay, okay. It's it is good looking dough. Now I'm going to dump that, my dough on the counter and my counter is clean and uh, I sprinkle it a little bit with flour, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, and uh, form a rectangle, okay? Okay, let's see. It's working very well here. Actually, I can uh, use a uh, roller pan to help me, okay? With, with forming uh, my dough into a rectangle, okay? Doesn't really have to be like <clears throat> a perfect re rectangle, okay? Okay, more like oval right now, but okay. Oh well, it's not perfect rectangle, okay. All right, let's see, it's kind of even. Make sure that's even. Really beautiful um, doll. Beautiful doll, very nice, very elastic. Not sticky at all. Okay. Okay. Now, I will um, dump all the uh, filling 
in the center of my uh, rectangle and then uh, spread it out with a spatula all over the a rectangle okay I'm going to show you how it looks like okay this is my feeling I will uh, I will uh, spread it out as evenly as possible okay that's pretty good i thinking okay And the last step is to roll it into a roll. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Okay. And I will close it, close um, uh, ends, both ends, okay. All right, look at this beauty. Look how beautiful it is. And it's vegan. I am impressed. Finally, I will uh, brush it with uh, oil, okay? Which is uh, my substitute for um, uh, white egg, okay? All right. And I'm going to uh, brush uh, parchment paper with it as well in order for my uh, Makovits and not to uh, stick to the paper, okay? Probably more, most difficult step here to uh, move my uh, pie into a pan, okay? But I will try, okay? There you go. All right, yeah. okay? It's still, uh, I see the still rising. Makovits is going in a 400 preheated uh, oven for about 40 minutes. All right. I see when my cake is all done. Bye. Welcome back and look at my Makovits. Isn't it beautiful? I still have to do something. And this is my final step. Uh, so I have uh, uh, powdered sugar in front of me and I will uh, sprinkle my uh, poppy seed cake with it, okay, before I taste it. So it took me about 25 minutes to bake okay and like i said before that um each uh 
every um, oven is a little bit different. So might take less, might take longer or less, depends. So it is still very warm. Does it look like yet? Okay. Not like this. I will cut one of the slice uh, from my um, log yeah, and I will try to do it very carefully because as of right now it's warm still and might be a little bit fragile okay all right let's do it the end of it. Maybe I should cut it in half to see what I got. Okay. It's hot. It's very fragile. Yeah, you can tell that's very hot. Okay. 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 I hope you can see it. Okay. It's pretty um, cold, and I'm going to taste that. Mm. First time I'm making a uh, vegan Makovietz and uh, it's actually very good. So if you still have time to make it for Easter, please do so. Hopefully you like my recipe. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I see you in my next video. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye.